Well, I got a new toy to test out and we're not waiting for better weather. Stick around. All right. Woo. All right, let's take our first shot with this bad boy. Now I'll give you a close up. Hey, how's it going guys? So, uh, I guess it was last summer. I bought my first frame from Pocket Predator and uh, it was this one right here. This is the first one I ever tried. I've known about Bill for quite a long time, but I've never actually bought or tried any of his frames. And this was the first one I ever tried. This is the Ranger Recurve and it is an absolutely amazing slingshot. Well thought out, well designed, super comfortable in the hand, great grip. It checks all the boxes for me. The only thing I wish is that it had some clips but it's really not the end of the world. Still shoots really, really great. And it's one of my favorite frames. Now, after trying out that frame, I was like, oh buddy, I gotta, I gotta head on over to Bill's uh, site again, over at Pocket Predator and see what else they have going on. And well, I went over there a few weeks ago and I found this guy. This guy is called the Hiker. And uh, I'm gonna give you a close up of this in a minute. But we've done just a little tiny bit of shooting with it just to warm up and see how it feels. These are my absolute first shots. And uh, we put a pretty damn good beating on that Pepsi can. But uh, it, it is pretty accurate. So I think I'm going to try to uh, to go into some smaller targets while we're uh, reviewing this bad boy and get to know it a little. But uh, I'm going to bring you in close. We're going to turn you around. We're going to talk about this frame a little bit and get into the specs and give you a close-up look at it. And uh, i got to tell you, this frame is just... Uh, this is another frame from Pocket Predator. It's just something special. This right here is the Pocket Predator Hiker. Looks like a very simple and classic frame, but sometimes simple is best. And uh, I will definitely say that this is an absolutely beautiful frame to shoot. And uh, its simplicity is probably the best part about it. But there are some features on here that we're going to talk about very shortly. Uh, but first, I just want to mention, this is actually a cross between the chalice that was designed by Bill Nielsen and uh, Bill Hayes is a uh, ranger. This is a, uh, got probably the best aspects of both frames in it. And uh, it offers quite a few options that you might not even notice quite yet. Uh, I did mention it's made out of half inch ballistic grade uh, G10, which makes it super sturdy and strong. You never have to worry about this breaking on you. That's for sure. The overall length of this guy from fork tip down to the end of this handle here, is 130 millimeters. The fork width of this guy is coming in at 87 millimeters. Now we got clip 22 millimeter fork tips. They've got a nice slant on them that uh, kind of lock these uh, lock these bands in real nice and tight and offers less friction on those band sets right at the fork, which is really, really nice. And the weight with the band sets coming in at 4.6 ounces or 132 grams. I think we took a chunk right out of that uh, flipper or left a black spot on it. I don't know. Let's go back up and get that uh, red one. Oh, just missed it. <sighs> there it is. So, so far the overall shooting experience is pretty nice. Uh, before we get into uh, uh, about the grip, talking about the grip and all that, I'm just going to let you guys know because I know somebody's going to ask. Today we are shooting 0.6 uh, Celtic Caddy Blue. Uh, we've got the taper from 22 to 12 and I've got a uh, nice goat skin pouch here that my buddy Gasper gave me and uh, we're shooting these guys here today and 
uh, I guess we got to go into the uh, hint of the grip overall. Now I'm going to show a couple of uh, a couple of close-ups of my hand, like I did in the last video, just to show what kind of movement. If there's any slippage or anything like that. Now, uh, but first, I want to talk about this. There's a few things that are very important about this grip um, that I really, really like, and it uh, it kind of adds uh, repetition and accuracy in your grip. Now, what I mean by that is that when you put your hand on your frame, there's little spots on here that'll mark it out, that'll keep your, your forks stacked on top of each other all the time because you're putting your hands back in the exact same place all the time, which really, really makes a big difference. The second thing is the handle design. How the handle design goes, it actually forces your hand uh, forward towards the forks, keeps it locked in and tight, and with these little scallops here, I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, for your for your thumb position, your hand will be in the exact same place every single time. That eliminates one whole thing out of the out of the equation, where you, all you have to do is grab your frame and hold it, and it'll be in position for you every single time. And there's no variations on on left or right. And anytime you have more consistency on your grip, on your bands, on your pouch, on your ammo it adds to uh, accuracy. So um, I'm going to bring you in close just real quick. We're going to talk about the two types of grips you could use on this. Now that we know that we already have a secure grip on here and an accurate grip, um, I'm going to show you the uh, little thumb scallops up here by the, by the fork tips. And then we're going to test it out uh, in a thumb brace with a close-up and in a pinch grip with a close-up. And we're going to see how, uh, how much movement there is in the frame when I'm shooting. All right, so hopefully you're able to pick this up here. I know the lighting's kind of kind of weird, but you'll see right up here, there's these little scallops for your thumbs. Now, when you lock that thing in, your thumb goes right into that little spot every single time you've got your frame set up every single time accurately and comfortably in your hand, and there's no movement slippage or anything. Now you see this big bump here at the end of that handle, that little swell, that keeps your fingers forward towards the forks there's no slipping down there's no movement you've got this nice nice shape coming up and that little chalice cup that kind of locks that hand in there too there is no movement in this frame the grip is phenomenal look at that now if you choose you've got a nice little width here where you can grab that and shoot a pinch grip if you like it's totally up to you i'm not a pinch grip uh shooter but we will try it out today and see if how the grip works for that too with a close-up of my hand We'll see if there's any movement with some slow-mo. We'll take a shot with a pinch grip first, see how it goes. Absolutely no movement on the forefinger or thumb, and there's no twisting in the hand. Perfect grip. I don't think it moved at all. Uh, first one was the thumb brace, in case I screwed that up. Then I'm going to bring the camera over here on the side, and we'll get a look from the side, uh, from the side shot and see if there's any movement on there too. Here we go with the pinch. Shooting heavier bands, you do get a bit of a recoil, but there was still no slipping in either grip. Just broke my spinner. <laughs> oh well. But felt pretty nice there too. All right, I'll give you another view from the side here. Still no slipping uh, in thumb brace or in pinch grip. Again, felt, felt really, really, really good. I, I can't complain about this at all. The grip feels absolutely solid. But thumb brace, it feels fantastic for me. But uh, I am a thumb brace shooter, so... Uh, what can I say? Let's try one more shot. <laughs> There's a little hiker power for you right there. Look at that. Completely blew up my flipper. Done deal. But, uh, we got another guy in our sights in that catch box. Just a little fella. If you see him, let's see if we can put a couple of hits on that guy. A couple consecutive hits. And we can talk about consistency. All right. We got that 30 mil flipper up there. Let's give it the best out of three, see how we do. There's one. There's two. There's three. All right, let's keep on going since we're killing it here. Uh, 
Ah, I missed. Consistency feels pretty good, but I want to show you real quick uh, what I really like about this, if I can, uh, if I can manage to do it. Um, hold on a second. So if you can have a look here, you'll see on the fork tip, it's got a really nice 90 degree on there. So when you're aiming on there, there's no guesswork, there's no rounded tip. There, your reference point's nice and sharp and clear. There's absolutely no messing around when you're trying to zero in on your on your target, and uh, it gives you a clear picture to shoot at. So, so far, this thing is an absolute monster. All right, so let's talk about the pocketability of this bad boy. Really, it's a win. It's got a nice slim profile, no rubberization on it, no, uh, no funny wraps or anything like that that can catch onto your pockets. It's got a nice rounded end, which should slide in and out of any pocket quite easily. The, um, although it doesn't have that, that rubberized on there, but the G10 has a natural grippiness to it, which is really nice. And, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't get caught up on your pocket at all. So this thing will slide in and out, which really makes it an excellent EDC frame. You got a, and if you're a target shooter, a hunter, a plinker, a guy that likes busting cans, a vandal, whatever it is you like to do, <laughs> let me tell you, this is going to be a great everyday carry for you. This is a fantastic, fantastic frame. We do great shooting with it, even out in conditions like this where we're walking around in two feet of snow with the with the wind blowing at minus 14. Not an issue. Absolute monster. I'm telling you guys. So what can we say about this frame? Well, for me, all the way around, it's a win. This thing shoots like a dream. Uh, what you saw today was my first shots. I received this thing about a week ago. It's been sitting in my in, in my uh, on my desk waiting to be shot, and uh, I've been itching to try this thing. And uh, we came outside and put a couple of shots on the can. Did great. So then I tried a few other, a few other things, a few other targets. Uh, we destroyed a 40 mil flipper. Just took it right apart. Did some great shooting on the bottom ones here. And I actually took a chunk out of my uh, one of my wasp ones, which is uh, kind of surprising, but it's been there for quite a while. And then we shot some paper. By the time I got here, my hand was starting to get a little bit on the tired side. I think I uh, I screwed up and I put 0.7 bands on here instead of 0.6, which is what I thought they were. Uh, I'm used to shooting five millimeter uh, five. 0.5 bands or 0.45 bands uh and uh the draw weight on this was quite a bit different so my hand got a little bit tired and my consistency went off but uh, put the excuses aside um all in all amazing frame super comfortable it locks in the hand it consistently holds the same way every single time you've got di two different options of grip you can hold it in pinch hold it in thumb brace the um the reference points are really really nice you got a nice 90 degree to, to uh, angle to, to uh, put on your target, and it uh, keeps a nice open um, an open aiming reference, which is what I like. I don't like any of that uh, that extra stuff, you know, the uh, fiber optic sights or these bumps and whatever it is, all this fancy sights and stuff. I, I'm not in, I'm not down with that. I prefer to look right off my fork. And if I'm going to be shooting at something at a longer distance, I could just look down my bands and just lift it up a little bit and take care of business with it. And uh, for me, this signs all this. This checks all the boxes. It's pocketable. It holds well. It shoots well. It's uh, actually in this kind of cold. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold on to. It uh, holds on to the heat a little bit. The G10 has that uh, a little bit of a grippiness to it. So even in cold weather like this, where your hands get dry or warm weather, you'll always have a good grip on there. Even if even if it was super smooth, the design of the grip is going to lock your hand into position all the time. Um, and it's got clips and I got to say these, uh, these clips from Bill are uh, really well made and they seem to be G10 as well. They got a nice, uh, slotted, uh, screw spot spot with a nice heavy duty screw in there. That's going to lock those in in good, in good position. And I've had absolutely no slippage or movement at all on these bands. Fit and finish is pretty good. There's no, um, there's, uh, it is, it is a machined, it seems to be a machined, uh, G10 uh, thing. So you do see some tooling marks here and there, but the. There's no sharp edges. Everything is smoothed out quite nicely, and there's no uh, no concern about uh, having friction points or anything like that on the bands. Anyway, uh, we've got about uh, 60 shots, maybe 70 shots out here today. Bands are still looking good. No bruising or damage from them hitting any any sharp corners. And uh, all in all, this design by Bill and Bill is a uh, is an absolute win. Head on over there, check this guy out. Uh, let me tell you, hunters, target shooters alike will absolutely love this guy. Absolute beast of a slingshot. Another win for Pocket Predator. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to go inside and have a coffee or a tea or something, warm up. It's uh, pretty chilly out here.
But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. You guys take care. Get out and practice. Stay safe. Be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. Bye for now. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit those bell notifications so you see what I got coming out. Well, this is my second frame from Pocket Predator and I absolutely love it. Couldn't go wrong with the Ranger Recurve, but this one's fantastic as well. And just to let you know, I do have a third one coming called the Poacher. We'll be looking at that one pretty soon. If you guys are looking for a slingshot, I highly recommend to head over to Pocket Predator. I'm telling you, these frames are phenomenal. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, you guys take care. I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to look in the description for the link to Pocket Predator. And uh, we'll get up and be doing another video, uh, hopefully, as soon as possible. Take care. Shoot straight. And stay safe. Bye for now.